Hello there, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your September Love Tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Gemini, we are going to be looking into your love life and what will be coming your way next in terms of love for the first half of September. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning Gemini, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful gems out there. Gemini, stick around towards the end of the reading. I'm going to be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. So here we go, Spirit, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's going on in their love lives and what's coming their way next? For my beautiful Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Gemini, let's get started. First card out is we have the Tower. Scorpio energy coming in as rebuild. We also have um, balance coming in as temperance. Sagittarius energy. We have confront. This is the moon. Pisces energy. We have Release, this is Death, more Scorpio energy. All major arcanas out for right now. We have Reach Out, this is the Three of Pentacles, Earth energy. And we have Observe, another major arcana with the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. Wow, look at this. You got double Scorpio over here, you got double Pisces over here. So definitely could be connecting to a water sign. Um, but if that's not the case, there's feelings here and the feelings that somebody has are not necessarily fully being expressed just yet. So I feel like somebody has hidden feelings here for you, Gemini. I feel like they are possibly deciding that they want to confess them. I feel like this person has been hiding this for a while. They feel something about you. They have a certain something to say or something that they want to express but it's honestly been a long time coming for whatever this person has to say to you. So um, I'm going to clarify right away only because your reading started off with the tower. So I don't know, Gemini, somebody may have already expressed or confessed something to you. Or they may be preparing to do this. But it looks like whatever this person's deciding to say is coming to a bit of surprise to you. So let's see what going on some of you somebody may you may have a secret admirer at work or where you go to school or something along those lines that has to do with like a third party institution work school wherever let's clarify this on the tower we have the nine of swords air energy on Temperance, we have the Three of Pentacles, also the Three of Pentacles here. On the Moon, we have the Ace of Cups, there's those hidden feelings. On Death, we have the Queen of Cups, more feelings. <laughs> on the Three of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups, more feelings. And on the, uh, mad, no, not, what am I saying? On the Hanged Man, we have the Empress. All right, so. Gemini, somebody really sees you as their person, but this person either really fears expressing themselves to you. I feel like this person really, really isn't comfortable or confident in letting you know how they really feel about you. I do feel like for some of you, Geminis, you have two people interested in you. I almost feel like you have two people that have feelings for you at that as well. Um, so... Let me clarify this here, Spirit. Why is the tower here with the Nine of Swords? Why is the tower here with the Nine of Swords? The High Priestess. Huh. Why is the High Priestess here with the Nine of Swords, Spirit? For Gemini? High Priestess here with the Five of Swords. Okay, 
So I feel like for some of you Geminis, okay, I feel like single Geminis, you have two people that are interested in you. And I almost feel like it's causing you conflict to a certain extent because you may not know really what to do. But I do feel that for some of you. This is giving me like secret admirer energy. So I feel like somebody's coming out of the shadows about something and expressing something to you. So Gemini, I definitely do feel like if you have a secret admirer at work or at school, this person is definitely, definitely building the confidence to come out and tell you that they have some sort of interest in you with this ace of cups i feel like this person really fears being vulnerable towards you so they really are scared on what to do here i do feel like for others of you gemini's if you are in a relationship i feel like there is a lot of there has been a lot of arguments drama possibly secrets were held from you or from them whatever the case may be and I feel like you both want to work together with one another I feel like you both want to be on the same page you both want to be happy but I feel like for a lot of you Gemini's in a relationship it's such a struggle in expressing the feelings to one another it's such a struggle on getting on the same page emotionally with one another and I feel like within due time Gemini you're gonna get on the same page with this person you're gonna come to a way to compromise with them and understand one each, one, e, one each other sorry and just try to be considerate and caring towards each other but i feel like for a lot of you gemini's i don't know if it's like you don't trust this person or you don't trust they may be a little so for some of you gemini's you could be in a relationship with somebody who is emotionally inconsistent like one day they love you, the next day it's like, where did the love go? And then the next day they are all over you and then it's the next day you're like, where did the love go? So I feel like for a lot of you it's a return of this person's love for you for this first half of September. I'm going to clarify this bottom row. I definitely feel like there's feelings here and somebody really fears the feelings they have for you or you fear the feelings you have for someone else whether there were secrets or energies of arguments and um you know feeling like the other person is selfish or whatever the case may be they're still wanting to work on this there's still an energy of wanting to be happy with one another despite whatever has happened in the past and for others of you i'm telling you somebody's hiding the way they feel about you queen of cups king of swords yeah they're putting on a brave face they're making it seem like they don't really feel anything or they're not really phased by anything yet they are um ten of cups here with the three of wands yeah they're preparing to say something very specific so very interesting the empress here with the lovers all right yeah so I feel like for some of you Geminis, if you are in a relationship, whatever you two used to argue about, I do feel like it could have been about other people, third party situations, or just kind of like, okay, why is your love so inconsistent? I feel like you're talking to other people. I feel like you're interested in other people because one minute you love me, the next minute I can't even read you. So for a lot of you Geminis, you feel that way or they feel this way and there's a sense of you preparing to express that or you two figuring out a way to get through that energy and be on the same page consistently, emotionally, intellectually, and in a stable way. For others of you Geminis, singles, you definitely have two people interested in you. Others of you singles, you have one very specific person that is really thinking about how they are going to express the way they feel for you. So get ready. Somebody's got something to say to you. Somebody's got some sort of feelings they want to let out towards you. And it does look like this first half of September, they're going to gain the courage, the confidence, the willpower to say what they want to say to you, Gemini. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be different. But somebody's got some words for you. And I feel like for some of you, it's um, loving words. For others of you, it could be words in terms of somebody feeling like they're not the only one or somebody feeling like they're being 
treated like an option. So I do feel like for some of you, it's good words. For others of you, somebody's gaining the courage to see if you two can figure out how to get on, oops, sorry, how to get on the same page after feeling defeated with this connection. So it could be you, could be them. Any ways, I have Gemini, I have Pisces, I got Scorpio, I got Sag, I got Virgo. But that's what we got going on here. For you, my beautiful Geminis, let's get your oracle and each zodiac sign's feelings for you. So Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini in love for the first half of September for Gemini. All right, this is your first card. We have Metamorphosis, so a beautiful transformation. We also have Divine Masculine. And we have Crossroads. All right, so somebody is definitely making a decision to say, like, okay, look, I want to transform this relationship, whether it be the Divine Masculine or the Masculine Energy is the one who needs to transform the most. Let's clarify this. We have metamorphosis with awakening. We have divine masculine with destruction. Yeah. So it is indicating that the divine masculine causes the most um, challenge here. Or they have caused the most challenge here, Gemini, for you. So that may be a, a lot better indication of the way the roles are being read in this reading. Crossroads with compromise. There it is trying to make a decision on how to be on the same page um and for others of you i don't know if you are the masculine or they are the masculine and this um secret admirer person fears destroying whatever connection you two do have to see if it could be more romantic so that may be a why this person is fearing coming your way awakening with regret yeah destruction with patience and compromise with pause yeah so gemini i feel like somebody either regrets not saying what they wanted to say sooner having compromise with you sooner or expressing their feelings for you sooner keep in mind this could be backwards but i feel like somebody fears like ruining this relationship and whatever they have to say but i feel like they'll make the decision to do it so here we go, Gemini, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Let's look into each zodiac sign's feelings for you for the first half of September for my beautiful Geminis. All the way from Aries to Pisces. All right, here we go, Gem. We have Aries feelings for you as the Six of Pentacles. So Aries is in a position of wanting equal give and take with you. You may feel like Aries gives you the bare minimum or they feel this way, but they definitely want to have more balance with you where you're giving they're receiving and they're giving and you're receiving we also have taurus feelings for you as judgment so taurus does want a second chance for this connection they may be coming back around from the past or they may just be asking you for a fresh start for this connection um you could be dealing with a taurus and you may be dealing with a lot of past energy so you two are trying to learn lessons with one another Gemini's feelings for you are the magician. So Gemini is in a position of trying to manifest this connection with you, Gemini. They feel like anything is possible between the two of you. This is your card. So definitely could be feeling manifested by a Gemini or you just have very strong manifestation powers right now, Gemini. We have Cancer's feelings for you as the Four of Pentacles. So Cancer is a bit closed off towards you. They may be acting very stubborn. They just don't feel like opening up right now. They may be focused on their pentacle or their money, but they definitely are in a position of not opening up. Cancer may feel like you're being stubborn towards them. Leo's feelings for you are the Two of Cups. So Leo feels like you are their soulmate, and they definitely do feel like you are somebody that they want to couple up with if you are not coupled up with Leo already. Virgo's feelings for you are the king of cups so Virgo's definitely has feelings for you here you could be committed to a Virgo or Virgo may be offering you some sort of commitment for some of you you may feel like it's very hard to read your Virgo but they definitely do love you next we have is Libra's feelings for you as the ten of wands so Libra does look at this relationship as a bit of a burden so they may be putting down the burden of this connection or you two may argue a lot and they want to put down the burden of the arguments and the challenge so you two can start new for others of you your Libra just may have a lot going on in their life right now feeling like they have a lot to deal with and may not really have anything to do with you 
Next we have is um, Scorpio's feelings for you as the Ace of Swords. So new communication coming from your Scorpio or a Scorpio. They have something they want to say to you. Definitely expect a reach out or something from a Scorpio that they have never said before. Sagittarius feelings for you are the Ace of Wands. So a passionate new beginning with a Sagittarius. Could be sparking something with a Sag or re-sparking something with a Sag. A lot of attraction here between the two of you. Capricorn's feelings for you is the tower, so a lot of things may have fell apart with you and Capricorn. Um, whether you two are rebuilding or not, we will clarify this, but Capricorn definitely feels like things have took an unexpected turn for possibly not the greatest energy. We have Aquarius feelings for you as a Seven of Cups. So Aquarius is a bit confused on where they stand with you. Um, you may be making them feel like an option or they may be making you feel like an option because of their confusion and uncertainty. But Aquarius is a bit all over the place mentally and emotionally. Pisces feelings for you is the fool. So Pisces does want to have a totally new beginning with you, a fresh start. Pisces does view you as somebody they want to take a risk on. You could be meeting a new Pisces or just starting fresh with your Pisces. So let's clarify here. We're going to clarify Libra and Capricorn. See what Libra is doing here, what they have burdened with, and why Capricorn is a bit shocked. So let's see, Spirit. Why is Libra's feelings the Ten of Wands for Gemini? And why is the Tower for Cap for Gemini from Capricorn? So Libra, Ten of Wands with the Empress. So I do feel like Libra is trying to find themselves and trying to find their confidence. So they may feel like um, the arguments and the challenge with you puts them down and they're trying to be better. I don't know. They're definitely trying to work on themselves and stop struggling so much. And the Tower with Capricorn and the Six of Cups. So Capricorn may be a bit shocked at the fact of... Huh. Let's see. Six of Cups, Five of Swords. I don't know. It looks like Capricorn... It, it, does, it doesn't look like... It's either y'all are separated from one another and it shocked you or shocked Capricorn or there was just an energy of being nice to one another but then it really didn't get anywhere. I don't know. It's showing an energy of defeat here between you two, which came either as a surprise to you or them. But that's what I have here for you. Let's make sure everyone's out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's what I have here for you, Gemini. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.